As you can see, I am in the corner again. Why? Because we're not reacting to a song today. Ladies and gentlemen, we're reacting to Mr. Beast. Seven days stranded on an island. Now, I'm excited for this one because uh, Mr. Beast has been like talking about that he's trying to be a bit more calm with his content. He don't really want to be explosive in the intros and stuff like that. He says it doesn't really make a difference. So I'm, exi I'm excited to see this new side of Mr. Beast. So, hey, go get yourself something to eat. I got myself some noodles. Get yourself something to drink and sit back, relax and enjoy. We are now stranded on this deserted island in the middle of the ocean. Yeah. Um, so I see he, he came a long way with the, with the whole not trying to be explosive in the intro. <laughs> nah, I'm not even trying to hate. I really, really, really like Mr. Beast's um, video. So, yeah. We are now see. stranded on this deserted island in the middle of the ocean. And we're going to be stranded here for the next seven days. And that boat that just left was our only way out of here. Why do we keep doing this? I thought it'd be fun. Despite its beauty, civilization has not been able to survive on this island for over two... Wait, I want to guess where it is. Um, and I want you to guess as well. So pause the video here with me. Why did I just told you to pause the video knowing very well that the fact that I've paused it means that it's paused, paused for you. Um, put it in the comments what you think. I think it is in Asia. And I think it's probably around... I actually think I'm wrong here, but I'm gonna say Australia. It's gonna be around Australia just because I feel like a lot of YouTubers pick islands around Australia. Let's see where it's actually at. 250 years, but for the next seven days, we're gonna try to. And we only have around four hours until it gets dark. It's hot out here. We need to build a shelter immediately. I mean, why don't we just camp here? This spot looks pretty good. So, I say we kick things off by us going and looking for wood, and you two... We'll prep camp. Yes. Have fun with that. Come on, Sean. Come on, Chandler. How do we prep camp? You know, I don't know. And so we immediately <laughs> got to work, but we had to be careful because above you is the most dangerous tree on Earth. It contains poisonous tree sap that could literally kill you. Yo. Why are we still standing here? And meanwhile, Nolan and Mac were making a fire pit. I'd say it's a pretty good fire, would you say? Well, it's not a fire yet. Well, I'd say it's a pretty good fireplace. And Sean started constructing the frame for our shelter. Are you sure that's not going to fall on us? Yep. I feel like Sean's like our survival dad. It's been called worse. And while gathering some more materials, we came across some wildlife on the island. Oh, look at these chickens over here. Hey. There's chickens. Yo, I know a lot of y'all are going to look at me stupid for saying this. And I get it. But I actually did not think chicken just like lived in the wild of course they live in the wild but i thought they were just at this point i thought we just took over their life honestly it's kind of sad but i thought they were just farming animals at this point but there's actually wild chickens that's crazy i want to know where they're at though wait stop running away and it wasn't long until i found out why the chickens were afraid of us hey what are we doing over here ah uh, wait what is that uh, oh it's a knife were you gonna try to kill one of those chickens please let me eat a chicken we don't kill chickens. Jimmy, what did you eat for dinner before you got here? Don't ask. <laughs> we spent the rest of day one preparing our camp, which was pretty simple. I'm going to show you guys around the camp. This is the fire and where we're going to make food. Come over here. The editing, though. The editing in these videos are Hollywood material. Obviously, he has a huge team, though. And this is where we sleep. That concludes the tour. We pulled over our survival crate, which contains food, water, and most importantly, a flare in case someone gets hurt. And by the time the sun went down, we had everything figured out, except one thing. Wait, hold up. Isn't I honestly think that uh, that using these, like, I forgot what they're called, flintlock? I feel like they're called a flintlock, but I could be wrong. I feel like they're harder to use in real life than what people makes it look like. I've never tried it. But I feel like it's not as easy as you would think it is. But maybe I'm wrrong. Sunscreen flammable. <laughs> it's the end of day one, and I'm already starting to get a little sunburn. I'm hoping to get some good sleep tonight. And I hope it doesn't rain. Tomorrow, we need to build a bigger shelter. And by we, I mean dad over there is going to build a bigger shelter. I got I you. Got... Oh. 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 Jimmy, you're like mom. Sean's dad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to go to bed. I'll see you on day two. During the first night of sleep, we tossed and turned a lot. And by we, I mean me. 
So it was a good thing we were fixing this the next day. The objective for day two is simple. We need to build a bigger and rainproof shelter. We need more comfortable seats because my butt hurts. And we need a better fire pit. My butt also hurts. We're looking for very, very nice. long, sturdy sticks. We can. I mean, they also did actually nothing. Nothing, nothing. I don't know. Just yeah. put across the top of our shelter. That way, when it rains, instead of it drooping in the leaves and tarp, it flows off the back. And while we were busy gathering resources for our new shelter, Mac and Nolan were busy looking for new seats. Do you see that? Yeah. What's that orange thing? I mean, you can use it as like a bouncy seat. Dude, it's a buoy. Oh, dude, there's a net. We can use the net to catch chickens. No! Oh, oh, a lot of bugs! A lot of bugs! A lot of bugs! Jimmy, we found. That would have been me. That would have been me. I do not mess with bugs. Okay. I do not mess with bugs. I really, 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 really don't mess with bugs. We're blessed to have them for multiple reasons, but... Keep your distance, please. Please keep it. an distance. ocean buoy. It's like a bouncy seat. Did you steal this? No. Did, Did he steal it? It washed up on a beach. I guess that's not stealing. Oh. That is nice. Okay, I'll take it. For the rest of the day, Chandler, Sean, and I finished upgrading the shelter. Keep going, keep going. There's still sun in here, but it's because the sun's super low. 90% of the time, this will be shade now. While Mac and Nolan got coconuts. All right, be careful. It's a big knife. They're actually, I'm not going to lie, they're actually pretty smart. Like, I know they've also done a lot of surviving on islands and stuff like that and, like, abandoned places. And, like, they're not new to it. But I feel like they're actually doing pretty good. I feel like you would think that you would know what to do in a situation like this. But once you're actually there, I think it's tough. I think it's really tough. Nice. <laughs> good. And of course, tried to catch chickens. Hey, chickens! Run! Run! Run away! What are you, what are you doing? All right, I saved them. Day two is coming to an end. How would you say it was? <laughs> I'm tired, but I'm doing good. Nolan? Fantastic. I think we can all agree we are doing way better than we thought we would. But little did I know, later that night, things were about to get a whole lot worse. But for now, if you're wondering why we're in the ocean, look at Chandler. Because it's the only way for us to shower. We need our other water for cooking and... Oh yeah, they can't even shower out there. They can't even shower out there. Imagine they have to go seven days without showering. Well... Like, I mean, water is water, though. You you can get a decent shower in that water, right? Like, I know it's salt water, but that doesn't really make a difference, does it? You're washing off your sweat and stuff like that. So it's not the same as taking a shower with, like, shampoo and, like, all the, like, soap and stuff like that. I don't think they have that. But it's still better than nothing, right? You know, not dying of dehydration. You want to know what I noticed, boys? What's that? We had 10 cartons of water, and now we're down to six. It's day two. Ooh. I know. I'm going to be the adult here and just say it. Everyone needs to be more responsible yeah. with their water consumption. I agree. Wait, what do we agree? Yeah, because if they're out of water, that's going to be a huge issue. That's going to be a major, major, major issue. Because uh, I know they have the whole ocean, but it's salt water. You can't drink that. I You can drink it, but it's you're gonna regret it very fast um and then they will have to i guess boil it which i guess it's possible but if you have water with you i would try and just like like save save up on the water like green to sean i agree for you uh, okay perfect it's also dark we need to go to bed in case you didn't piece it together that guy mac is the guy that lost money in this video and this video he's basically lost 1.5 million dollars on the i felt like i noticed that and i feel like mr beast is i don't know if they planned this and that he actually lost like for entertainment purposes to get the audience like to kind of build a story for him I'm not trying to kill your vibe. Like, maybe it's totally legitimate and stuff like that. But whether or not it's legitimate, Mr. Beast is using him a lot. And a lot of people said in the comments, like, a lot of people were a big fan of this dude. And now all of a sudden, like, he's... I don't know. I feel like after everyone was a fan of him, maybe he failed legitimate in the beginning. But then everyone was a fan of him. People even said, hey, you gotta add him to the crew. 
I feel like now Mr. Beast is like, you know, kind of like involving him more and more because people really love him. Um, and if it's all legitimate and he really just was unlucky, then Mr. Beast is just a very, very good guy because he's like really involving him in a lot of things channel in the last two months it's a harsh way to introduce somebody even though we upgraded our shelter the second night of sleep was worse than the first we didn't know it but this island was infested with bugs that ended up biting us all throughout the night and for whatever reason Jalen and i got the worst of it i got no sleep last night oh, probably the most miserable thing i've ever done look how many bug bites i have on just Oh my days, there's nothing worse. Uh, I don't know where you live or where you're from, but if you've ever tried camping um, and you get like just swarmed with bugs, like mosquitoes, oh my days. It's the worst. It's the, it's the worst. That's my hand alone. Do you see that? Mm -hmm. And while we caught up on some much needed sleep, you can probably guess what the boys were going to do without supervision. Catch chickens. No, let's catch fish. So yesterday, over by uh, that debris on the beach, me and Nolan found a bunch of net. Today, the boys are going to help me make a chicken trap. The plan is basically to put a giant net right here, tie it to a string up there, and then <laughs> catch a chicken. Let's go. Now, if I was awake to... But that would mean that you would have to cut the line so that the chicken would, like get caught right and for that you would have to be pretty close to the chicken so the chicken would probably run away right am i being stupid oh yeah to stop them this never would have happened but given the fact that i felt like i was literally dying in this moment the boys were officially going rogue that is strong net exactly there we go over the next 30 minutes or so the boys cut the net into it's kind of sad, sorry that I keep pausing, it's kind of sad that they're using this as a chicken trap because the net they have right there could actually work as a pretty darn good fishing net, like, to catch fish. I hope they're going to end up using it. To a perfect that. square. They then hoisted the rope up over the tree, tied the rope to all four <laughs> corners, and it was ready. <laughs> that works. That's pretty nice. So after a quick reset and placing some bait, it was time to catch a chicken. How do they know how to build traps like that? They're really impressive, though. What is this? Trap to catch chickens with? Can I see the rope? No, you cannot. Is that what you guys were doing this whole time? Yeah. yeah. I thought you were doing something actually productive. I'll be honest. At first, this seemed like a complete waste of time. Because for the next three hours, they waited and waited. But for some reason, Mac in particular was not ready to give up. And finally, after even more waiting... Oh! There is no way they catch a chicken like this. And there is no way they're going to kill a chicken and actually eat it in a YouTube video. I don't know why I feel like... Because why is that... Why does that feel worse to me than like... Don't, hey, don't get me wrong. I don't want to like sound like the best human alive. Like I, I love chicken. I love chicken. But why does it feel like to me that it's worse if they kill a chicken in a video than catch a fish and kill the fish? That's kind of bad, right? Let me know if you agree. And if you do agree, let me know why I think like that. Because they're both alive. They're both living cre- Hmm, interesting. That's a lot of chickens. Yeah. <laughs> keep it tight, keep it tight, keep it tight! Yeah, what is that? Jimmy, I caught it! Oh, this chicken's actually pretty chill. Yeah. This is the new Brian, in honor of the bird from Raft. Don't kill you know it. What? With how nice you've been, I'm sure once you put Brian down, it will continue to hang out with us. Put it down. Time to put Brian down. Brian, Brian. no! Poor chicken. You just traumatized it. You just traumatized the chicken. Not Brian. Brian! What did you do to Brian? I thought he was our friend. Well, I did catch him with a trap. Yeah. So. And by the time Brian had been caught in... Look at that water. Was oh. Our friend. Well, I did catch him with a trap, so... And by the time Brian had been caught and freed, it had gotten significantly less hot outside, which honestly gave all of us enough energy for a spontaneous adventure. See that island behind me? We're about to go do it, Mac. Let's do it. Now I know what you're thinking. Why swim away from a perfectly good island to a rock in the middle of the ocean? And honestly, I don't have a good answer for you. This I will be so scared of doing that. I will be so scared of doing that because I'll be scared of sharks.
I have so much respect for the ocean. You have no clue. I'm also just the worst when it comes to animals. Like I really, really am. I would, well, I would be so scared because if there's crystal blue waters, I love crystal blue water. So why wouldn't the shark love it, or the stingray, or the jellyfish, or the piranha, or the sea monsters? Hey. It feels really counterintuitive. I think this is a testament to just how bored we are. It feels like we're wasting a lot of water and energy. Man, what are you doing? There are so many fish down there. Really? Yeah. There's a stingray. Look at all the. You see what I mean? You see what? Nope. 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 Hell no. Nope. Not for me, mate. Not for me. Those fish. Those waves look really big over there, and they're coming right at us. Okay, here comes a good one. We're almost there! I'll be scared of being dragged out as well. <laughs> Look at the island over there in the background. And here we are. Woo! Crazy. Look at this. We got water splashing on both sides. These are extra slippery rocks. Going up now? Be careful oh, with God. your feet. Oh, this is crazy. This right. looks so cool. We did it! I don't know why we did it, but we did! How do we get off this? And then how do we get back to our island? You well, swim. the fastest way off is jumping. I'm not jumping. No. During our last few hours of sunlight, I felt a couple raindrops. We noticed a storm approaching us on the horizon. When we got on the island, the forecast said it wasn't supposed to rain. There's monster clouds over there. We can depress. Let's go, boys. I'm you guys. If, if a tsunami comes, like there could be a reason that there haven't been people on this island for like 450,000 years or whatever you said. Oh my lord. What the hell? Oh no. There's rain coming. Protect our stuff. Get as many palm leaves as you can right now. Taylor, more leaves. And once we ran out of daylight, we huddled up under our new and improved shelter and awaited a night of rain. The worst did... part about this is how did they get power? It's the unknown. It's so dark. You can't even see how close the rain is anymore. Turns out we got extremely lucky. The storm ended up just missing us by a hair. But what I can say is later in this video, we won't be so lucky. They are so good at making these hooks, like making sure that they hook you throughout the entire video. They are so good at doing that. It's crazy. Just let go. Oh. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Let me try that again. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. You guys got a case of the Mondays? After four days on the island, our morning routine consisted of the following. First, we'd wake up and complain about how bad we slept. Sleeping last night was rough. And then we'd use the bathroom, sometimes together. I'm nervous peeing at the same time as you guys. And then eat, yet again, a bag meal. We're a little tired of our bag meals, so let's just say we've got a solution. Catch some fish. All right, this is as far as I go. Have fun. Oh, my God. All this for some fish? You have to go very, very far out to actually find fish. The fish aren't going to be in this light blue water. They're they just saw a lot of fish and stingrays not too far out, though. They're going to be in the dark blue water out there. So this is a really good idea, a really bad one. Probably a bad one. The plan was a little dangerous, but simple. Mac is going to act as a human motorboat and drag Sean and Nolan out into the depths of the ocean. And Sean, being the expert survival dad that he is, is going to catch those fish and bring them back to shore for us to eat. I don't get how they're not afraid of sharks. I do not get it. Call me a wuss. Hey, I'm a Danish guy. We don't have all of that stuff. I do not get it. You guys got the rope? I also brought around 500 feet of rope that they're tied to. So if at any point they need help, we'll just yank them in. Right, Chandler? Yeah. Is the rope still good? Yeah, you have plenty of rope. Mac, you doing okay? Huh? Is Mac literally just pulling them? We should just untie the rope, Mac. Cause that's some dead weight. Hope you don't regret it. <laughs> Now we have no rope and we're so far away from the beach. There's no way they're not getting seasick out there. Oh, look at that storm. Is that a storm? Boys, we better hurry. That's rain? That's rain. Something tells me this rope snapped somewhere. Oh, no. Well, you know what we can do? We can start fishing. I wouldn't start fishing yet. He's in the water. Guys! Yeah. There's a storm coming and they cut the rope. Oh, my day. The rope came off! You see any fish down there? I don't see anything. None yet. We have the rope. Hey! Oh, you got something? Yeah, yeah. Oh! Hey! We got a fish! Hold on, hold on. Yeah! Oh! Got him! Oh, that's a small one. And after 
two hours of fishing and 200 fishes worth of calories burned, all they had to show for it was one fish. Oh, Lord. Is this fun to eat? Yeah, of course. It literally tastes like fish from a supermarket. I mean, you know where fish from the supermarket come from, right? Where? The ocean. And even though this fish from the ocean was surprisingly... From Denmark? Not necessarily, but we have fish. You probably do too. Our fish are better than yours. Yeah. Good. It was time to eat something a whole lot better. S'mores. 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 First off, you need to burn the bacteria off your stick. Oh, I didn't know that, actually. You seem like you've done s'mores before, Jim. Well, as a man who owns a chocolate company. Oh, Mac! Ah! What are you doing? Oh, oh, God. Oh. You take the Feastables chocolate, scrunch it like that while it's still hot. Look at that. Make sure to try out our new Feastables bar. People are actually liking it so much, it's sold out in most stores. Don't worry, we're doing our best to restock it as fast as we can. You've never had a s'more in your life until you've had a s'more with Feastables on it. Like clockwork, we lay down and go. I actually really want to try Feastables, but I can't find them in Europe. And there's no way I'm ordering it and paying for the shipment and stuff like that. But I really, really want to try them. Go to bed and it starts raining. Why is it that whenever we do survival videos, it literally only rains when we're trying to sleep? I'd say that was a very successful day four. Yeah, I agree. You caught a chicken, I caught a fish. Here's the three more days of stupidity. Yeah. I would really love to try this though. Like, I think it's so much harder than you actually think it is. Mr. Beast, bro. No, I'm not a big channel. If you ever see this, I'm down to go on an island with you. That would be so awesome. I think they're having so much fun. A lot of work, though. I just woke up. I have no idea what day it is. Stay up. Five. I was about to say that. <laughs> One of the reasons why we picked this island is there's very old houses or ruins, whatever you want to call it, on this island. And even though they're located on top of a mountain, I say today's the day we explore them. I agree. Disagree. Now that we had all agreed to go to the ruins, we wanted to make sure we didn't start this expedition on an empty stomach. And just as we were eating our bag breakfast, Nolan noticed something more appetizing down the beach. Over there on the shoreline. What is it? There's a goat. No way, bro. There's a goat. Mac, you cannot eat that. Again, I thought goats were farming animals. Like, I know that there's goats out there. Actually, here where I live, I live in Austria now. And we have those, like... I forgot what they're called again. I literally forgot that the other day as well. But the goats that, like, jump around the mountains, they are crazy in real life. The fact that they can do that and not fall off, impressive. You can't stop me. No. Uh oh Run away, goat! Jimmy, run away! Go! <laughs> Get out of here! Yes! Why did you do that? Wait! Was that not a deer? Go! Get out of here! Is that a goat or a deer? Yes! Why did you do that? He's our friend! No, he's not! He's food! Oh, uh, once again. Ah, uh, it's a goat. It's a goat. Give me a scare away my food. And after sparing another animal from Mac, it was time to adventure to the ruins. All right. Let's do it. We're almost out of water, guys. I need some for the adventure. I'm gonna try to fill these up with coconut water while you're gone. Let's go. Let's do it. <laughs> yeah, keep going. I'll be there Pretty one second. Smart, and what they don't know is I actually have a surprise waiting for us at the top of the ruins. It'll make sense in a little bit. That was kind of weird. I just stayed back and talked to the camera. Yeah, it's kind of like how you lost $1.5 million. Oh, yeah. Mm, that, that gives me sus vibes, because... Why would he comment on that? Why would it be weird that he stayed behind and talked to the camera a little bit? Like, I, I hear why that could be weird, but at the same time, they're doing a Mr. Beast video. So I, I, I don't think I would, like, really notice that he... Hmm. Follow me, gang. Jimmy, I believe in you. For a second, I thought this was the mountain. I forgot we haven't even reached the base of the mountain yet. But while we climb this mountain, I'm going to tell the boys about Western Union. Wherever you are, Western Union makes it easy to send money to friends and family anywhere in the world. We'll be up here. Yeah, you keep talking. How much do you think it costs to make, like, to get a Mr. B sponsor? I've heard that it's actually, like, it's a lot, but it's not as much as you would think it is. It's something like, I don't know. How much do you think it would be? What about that, Jim? Hey, wait up for me. We're going all the way up there. Western Union also has a free website and app that's simple and secure. So even my grandma can use it? Even your grandma, Mac. <laughs> and before I got here, I used Western Union to pay the boat. Oh. 
Dude, you gotta be careful. Here, give me a second, Western Union. I also use Western Union to pay the boat guy that dropped me off on this island. Because they had been around for 100 years, I know my money got to them, even though I was in the US. Look how far away we've come from our beach. Is that, is that a rainbow? Rainbow right there. <gasps> oh, yeah. What the heck? That's awesome. I'm not gonna be like a Debbie Downer, but that's rain right there. That giant cloud? That giant cloud with rain. Yeah, you're being up. a Debbie Downer. Hey, you can see Sean from here. Dude, he's building the shelter. Sean's making us dinner. Sean! I can see him! Hey! Sean! He heard us. Keep going! Wave if you're a nerd! Uh -oh. oh, he's waving. Is it going to be dark when we go back on this path? <laughs> yeah. How are we going to see? Oh, uh, we'll figure that out later. That's going to be unfortunate if somebody falls. Oh! Oh! Are you good? You good? I'm alive. <laughs> see? You got to be careful with that, man. There's a lot of mountains in Austria as well. Um, and I used to, like, go on hikes on the mountains. There's some, like, hey, if you fall there and you, like, you can really get hurt. Like, honestly, you can you can get hurt. You got to be careful. You got to watch yourself. See that right over there? Boys, come on. Come over here. A loot Welcome box. to the ruins. Whoa. This is actually sick. Dude. Why is there just a yellow box? Yeah, what is this thing? I'm glad you asked. I paid some guys with Western Union $10,000 to move this box up here. Really? Nolan, there's a crowbar in your backpack. <laughs> What do you think is in here? Pizza? Water. You knew that we were gonna run out of water, so you put extra water in this box. And while we're opening this, there's never been a better time to download or sign up for Western Union. Your first transaction is free. Just go to westernunion.com slash MrBeast. Now I know I could have filled- He's so good at doing like sponsors and he knows that people skip the sponsors. So the way that he puts them together, impressive. He He's a businessman. Filled this crate with extra water and food, but instead I brought something even better. Matt, does this moment remind you of something? <laughs> Oh, this picture of you losing 800 grand? Now, here's a picture of you losing 700 grand. Bro, why? Why go You'll see it there? one second, don't worry. Now, I didn't He's do this to, to make paid. fun of Matt for losing $1.5 million. Really? Because that's exactly what it feels like you're doing. I did this to say, and we're going to give you another chance in one final video. No shot. But this is your... I swear to God, and I'm not hating on it because I do, I do like Meg, but... Mr. Beast is doing these things because people love Meg to like have a chance to make it make sense that he's in multiple videos now, which is genius. It's it's genius. Your final shot. You're going to give me a third shot? Your final shot. I got another shot. If you look at the last video we did, every single comment was bring back Mac, bring back Mac. I hope you win. That's another shot. More important than your shot. There's some ruins over here. Let's go look at them. Third shot, baby. I'm not going to let you guys down again. This building is almost a century old. Imagine building this 100 years. Nolan and Chandler was just there like, dude, what about the food and water? Like, they don't care about the shot. Years ago, just for a bunch of YouTubers to explore it. <laughs> Whoa, this is wicked. Why is there a cactus up there? Does the cactus just crawl up there or does someone put the cactus up there? The cactus does not crawl up there, Jimmy. Nature is beautiful. Nature is just beautiful. We call that God, bro. <laughs> he doesn't have legs. Oh my god. Let's check out on the other side of the crate. There's some more ruins over there. This is crazy, dude. Look how the trees like wrap around the freaking rocks. Would the gang say this was worth the effort? Because I got a third chance. Yes, I would. I drink way too much orange juice, by the way. Like, I really, really love orange juice. So, I got a lot of these. <laughs> All right, well, he's biased. Would you two say it was worth it? No. There was no pizza in the box, so no. <laughs> exactly. By this time, Day 5's sun was setting on the island. And on our way back to camp, we stopped at the peak of the mountain to take it all in. There's no one I'd rather scale the side of a random mountain with than you guys. Aww. Thank you. Maybe Dwayne The Rock Johnson. That's fair. But outside of that, Aww. nobody. Boys, I'm going to be honest, probably going to remember this forever. Me too. I think this view made the journey worth it. Camp's cleaned up. It's been reinforced from the rain. Coconut water. Meals ready to go. Got a lot more water. It's getting really dark. I mean, you can't even see into the woods right now. I don't know how they're going to make it back from the top of that mountain through all these woods in the dark. This is way sketchier at night. Oh, that could actually be an issue. That could actually really be an issue. As I said, you really got to watch your step when you're doing stuff like this. And it's easier to watch your step when you're actually able to see. <laughs> Ow. Cactus. Ow! You good? Just a thorn on my side. But little did we know, running into a cactus in the middle of the night was actually the least of our worries. We ended up hitting a dead end, which is a little intimidating in the middle of a forest. Hey, which direction is it? Is it this way or that way? Wait, I can see three different things, dude. There's this right here, and then there's this one right here. But can't they, technically, can't they just yell for their buddy? 
like with it being that dark, will he not be able to see the flashlights? Even though they're quite far away? Or not? Hmm. Here, this is a path too. Like, are you I sure, bro? This or is that it? It's definitely not to follow me, guys. I will pick a random direction. Follow Wait, no, me. no, I, I think it is to the left. Oh, it is. No, it's right, right over here. Ah, oh, it's raining. And we must have been extra lucky that night because, on top of being lost, it started raining. Are you sure this is the right one? Yeah, it's this way. Which way are we going? I going told you we should fly up. Wait, Taylor. Follow me, Taylor. How sure are you? I'm ten percent sure it's this so way. So wouldn't ninety percent be better? Are you 90%? Can we choose? It's pouring on the side of a mountain. Go! It's raining. Okay, Wait, why don't we way. choose and then unchoose? I don't care. Oh, boys, this is bad. That's a long day right there. It is getting slick. I really don't think we came up something this steep. <laughs> oh, I almost face planted. And if we couldn't be any more unlucky, on top of it raining while we're lost, we've even got a third thing to worry about. Above you is the most dangerous tree on Earth. I thought about that. I thought about that before. If it rains, it will seep poison that will burn your skin. Watch out for the death apple. Wait, so the wa how does that work? How does that work? So does the water like, when it hits the tree, does something get in the water and then the water drops? Well, like, yo, that is crazy. And it could be deadly. Okay. Sap because it just rained. What are we supposed to do? Not let the poison drip on you. Oh, oh, that is ten thousand percent of death apple tree, boys. That means we're close. And regardless of if we took the right path or not, we could tell we were getting close to camp. That's sand. That's oh. the sand. Thank God. We made it. <laughs> camp is right there. We have a rare opportunity to scare Sean. Are we going to take advantage of that? Yes, of course. Okay. But how has Sean not seen the flashlights? And you got to think about. Look at them. There is light on them as well, obviously, so the camera can see them. And I'm not trying to kill the vibe, guys. But in this darkness, like, it's this dark. I feel like Sean has to have seen them. Yep. Unless he's sleeping. Nah, but he's not. Okay. God. Oh my god, you scared me. We made it. Yeah, we're back. Okay, I, I think that was actually real. coconut water. Oh, I appreciate it. <laughs> Cheers, boys. Wow, it tastes like a coconut. <laughs> so, yeah. After the hike, we ate, we showered, and when we dried off, we took a second to look up at the stars. Because when you're in the middle of the ocean, it really feels like you're on another planet. But unexpectedly, Around the corner was something we'd been fearing this entire challenge. A storm! Bad news. There's a ton of water on the top of our shelter. I just don't know if that's going to be safe for us to be under it. Despite our efforts from earlier to make the shelter better, water was beginning to pull up on our roof from the storm. All this water on top of us. Is there a world that could bring our structure down? And even though all we wanted at this point was a night of sleep, we had to get up and deal with it. Uh, oh my god. We are absolutely screwed. But I'm just that is bad. That is bad. You can't sleep. You're going to get sick. That is... That's an issue. That's that's an issue. Getting destroyed and pummeled by rain all night. And after two hours of rain, a damaged shelter, and soaking wet beds, there was no chance any of us were going to sleep that night. It's raining on you at night. The worst experience you can have on these yeah. shelves. I'm so tired. Hopefully it just passes over. And even though this was an all-time low, our only option was to wait this thing out. I'm not gonna lie, the rain last night was pretty brutal. I don't know if I've ever been that cold, uh, ever. What do you wanna do today, Nolan? I don't know. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. Sleep? I just can't wait to get out of here. This place sucks a lot, I'm not gonna lie. I'm last sick. Last 24 hours. I'm tired, and I wanna go home. At you this got point, this. the island was making us miserable. This is quickly turning into a little bit of a nightmare. And after six days of physical struggle, our mental health was beginning to suffer as well. There's only so much bagged food you can drink and hours you can lay in the sun before you start to just feel terrible. And I'm starting to feel terrible. I have a headache. I am very tired. It was clear that we were going to have to take drastic measures if we were going to complete this challenge. Looking for a peach cobbler. Wanna look for a peach cobbler? Oh, I found one. So, in an effort to turn things around, we treated ourselves to canned cobbler for breakfast. Pretty good. How about Yeah. For a can. And with the help of this unorthodox breakfast, can that happen? we were beginning to return back to normal. Oh, yeah. 
<laughs> Dude, he ate straight into the tree. <laughs> It's it's actually crazy how much food and like water, like staying hydrated and staying well fed, how much that does for you when it comes to like mental health. It'll do so much for you because it gets your system going, it gives you energy, it like it's it's crazy how much like how important that is. It's really, really important. And it became clear how exactly we were gonna survive day six. Yeah by having fun with each other. <laughs> and I began to realize, oh. <laughs> even though we've all done a lot of stuff. What was that? And there's no way that was a coconut because that would have knocked him out. I began to realize, oh. <laughs> even though all right. we've all done a lot of suffering. Why'd we pick the heaviest seat in existence? This whole trip has been filled with a lot of fun. <laughs> Cheers, boys. And adventure. We did Let's go, Mr. Beast. End it off on a motivational. And when I look back on this Dang. challenge, we probably won't remember the bad times as much as we will the good. It's kind of cool. And with day six of our challenge Preach. finally coming to an end, we're celebrating our final night with a massive fire. But it's kind of burning us all. Yeah, I'm getting mad. It's a little too big. When we wake okay. up tomorrow, the challenge will be over. And as the sun rose on day seven, Go, get me out of here. we broke down camp and cleaned up with one thing in mind. Leaving this place and never coming back. And before we leave, I just want to take the time to say thank you all for watching. All of you are the only reason videos like this exist. And I really hope you all enjoyed it. Thank you so much for letting me react to your content, Mr. Beast. He is making awesome content. Actually, the one you see there on the screen, the Stop This Train, Win a Lamborghini. I actually did not see that video yet. Uh, that's the second last video he made. So like, the, it's the video from before this. I did not see it. So if you did enjoy this, like if you do want me to react to more videos like this as well. So not only music then let me know and we'll react to that one as well i haven't seen it yet so i'm gonna watch it no matter what but let me know if you guys want me to react to it with you guys and yeah remember to hit that like button hit that subscribe button it helps out a ton and i hope you had a wonderful day or if the day is not as you i don't know if you can see but it's it's getting it's evening here it's actually night time here it's literally midnight so yeah, if, if your day just begun, hey, I hope you're going to have a wonderful day. Stay happy, stay safe, and as always, may God bless you. Until next time.